Let me go over here. The net's ready. I think I just got eight. I'm gonna see what's going on. Fish, fish, got her. Yeah, buddy. Really, this fish is super beat up. Oh, she's ready, she's ready. What's going on, guys? I think it's April 21st, April 22nd. Just got off work and I'm heading back right now to a little creek to try to jig up a couple suckers or creek chubs real quick. And then I'm gonna go hit a river spot that can be a really magical spot. I've caught a lot of big fish there, but it's just, it can be really tough, which is why I'm going to try to snag some creek chubs. These types of trips require a ton of walking. It's about probably a quarter mile, half a mile walk to this creek right now. And then once I get back there, it's another half a mile back to my truck. And then once I get to the river, which the river is about 10 minutes away, the river is another half mile, maybe three quarter mile, somewhere between there, away from the parking lot. So when all said and done, these types of trips, I'm walking between two and three miles a day. Um, but they can be really productive. Some of my best days ever have been done doing this. I just got a little ultralight, some red worms, minnow bucket. It's been a really rough past three weeks for me. Really rough. So if we went out tonight and caught some fish, I'd be super geeked. Oh, another thing. Part of the reason that I'm going out for muskie tonight in the river is I was there last night with my sister and I had a upper 30, low 40 in front, right in front of me and it devoured a perch, just chased a perch and ate a perch. So I know they're in there. I know they're in this river. I know they're in this pool that I fish and I know they're active. But we're just getting to the creek and uh, like I said, hopefully we can get a couple creek chubs real quick. The less time I'm here, the better. And then from there, it'll be time to go catch a muskie. There's the creek. I don't know how I'm gonna cross this. I wore work boots, didn't change into my bucks. Usually up in that pool up there, I do really well. Might just try to cross over this log jam. Looks pretty slick. Luckily this GoPro is waterproof. My phone isn't though. Oh yeah, we're good. Switched over to the chest cam. This is a little, little, little ultralight. This is what I was using, was using to perch fish last night. And these creek chubs are super easy to catch most of the time. Just take a red worm, hook it on there, hook it on there. This hook might be a little big. I just need like two or three creek chubs. I don't need a lot. There's one, got him. First one, that'll do, that'll do. I'm gonna just let him take it. There's one. Get in, all right, that ain't a big one. We'll take him, a, a walleye or a bass would hit him. There's one, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. All right, we're done, we're done. We are done. That is what we needed right there. That's, that's, that's gonna get a fish. If conditions are right and there's, we're able to fish that spot like I want to, that's gonna catch a fish.
I'm gonna grab the fattest one in here. Ooh, look at that, John. Fish on, y'all, fish on. What? Are you kidding? Oh. Trev, what did you have? I was big. I guarantee that was a walleye. You gotta be joking me. Trevor just lost a pig. That was your first cast. Oh, Trev, Trev, I got one under it, dude. I got one under it, Trev. Oh my gosh, Trev. That was like instantly. Oh, we got something going on. Did you see it take off like oh, that? Yeah. I'll bet you, I'm almost positive that she just got eight. Let me go over here. The net's ready. It's not in the water, but it's just laying up on the rock. I think I just got eight. I'm gonna let it just sit for about 20 to 30 seconds. Gotta loosen my drag a little bit. These hooks aren't super big. So what, you just let him get that hook down here? Uh huh. These hooks are not big, so I, it's not like I can horse them super yeah. badly. But it it's not moving. That makes me think something devoured it. All right, it's been about 40 seconds, close to a minute since she hit. You set the hook? I'm gonna see what's going on. Fish, fish, got her. Now it's the fun part. I need you on the other side of the net, Trev, or on the other side of the wall. She's not hooked good at all. She ain't hooked good. This is this is freaking sketchy, I'll tell you that much. That's the sketchy part. It's just all right, I got it in free spool, okay? So you need to grab that reel. Okay, it's out of free spool. Got okay, it. Yep. Alright. Jump down here. Oh my. Here, Trev, Trev, keep hand it to me, bud. Yep. Now you jump down. Oh! What you want to do is the Josh Wells technique here. You gonna get her up over the... Oh, she's lassoed. She's lassoed. Oh, I hate that. Here we go, bud. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good job, Trevor. Thank you, man. Woo. Thank you, buddy. All right. She got we some got battle scars. Probably a mid-30. Not super big. That's a good fish. All right. And the creek chub lives. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in. She's in. Let's go, man. You had a little dry spell. We got spoiled on the doubles. This is the fish that hit that perch. Right, gonna get a quick bump board on her. See how, how big she is. 36 and a half. This is why you, uh, Hustle and get them creek chubs. We were down here 10 minutes. This fish came in super hot, super fast, and uh, came up on the bait a couple times, didn't quite eat, and then um, just saw that creek chub make one big vicious run, and uh, felt a fish on there, let her eat it for about a minute. Those little octopus uh, number twos stuck her, and here she is. So 36 and a half inch, she's super beat up from getting kicked out through the spillway. Um, really nice healthy river fish, but uh, we're gonna get a couple quick pictures of her and we're gonna get her back. Really, this fish is super beat up. Oh, she's ready. She's ready. Upstream. She's just kind of hanging out. Couldn't have caught it without you, man. That's a little sketchy up there. <laughs> All right, it's so the time to go. Uh, Catch the perch. All right, so there is the bait. That is that fat creek chub I caught out of the creek that I thought for sure would get bit, and sure enough, it did. We're gonna throw a new one on. This one's looking a little rough. What's the word? What's the word? Oh, uh, the perch bite is slow compared to yesterday. So I'm gonna throw on a husky jerk and get taken for a ride on a five foot ugly stick.
we just got back to the truck. For it being April 22nd, it's pretty, pretty miserable. It was harder to catch a perch today than it was a muskie. We, my sister and I came out here yesterday and caught probably a dozen bluegills and perch and crappie. The crappie slayer himself struggled. Nothing. Anything else you want to say? It is what it is. We got a fish in the net. Yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.